Welcome to TCM and more of our 31 Days of Oscar. I'm Alicia Malone, and tonight we have a lineup of movies from the 1940s that walked away with Academy Award wins. And we're starting with a lovely family drama which won two Oscars Best Film Editing and Best Supporting Actress for Anne Revere. From 1944, it's National Velvet. Elizabeth Taylor plays the Velvet of the title, Velvet Brown, a young girl who dreams about horses. She sees potential in a feisty horse called the Pie and sets her sights on entering him into the Grand National Horse Race. But she's a girl and during the time in which the film was set, no women were allowed to be jockeys in that race. Anne Revere is Mrs. Brown, who had her own big dream as a young girl. And the cast also includes Mickey Rooney as a horse trainer, Donald Crisp as Mr. Brown, and Angela Lansbury as Velvet's sister. The story was adapted by Helen Deutsch and Theodore Reeves from a popular novel by Enid Bagnold. The rights of the book had been passed through several different studios and when it ended up at MGM, Elizabeth Taylor and her mother Sarah campaigned for her to win this lead role. They were successful, as was the film, with the box office results and five Oscar nominations cementing Taylor's place in MGM's stable of stars. She was even gifted the horse who played the pie for her hard work. Elizabeth Taylor didn't receive an Oscar, but editor Robert Kern did. He was a veteran editor who was contracted to MGM and during his time there had also edited many of the Thin Man movies. Kern had been nominated 10 years earlier for the 1935 adaptation of David Copperfield, but this was his first Oscar win. Also nominated for Best Colour Cinematography, Best Colour Art Direction and Best Director for Clarence Brown, enjoy National Velvet. National Velvet was Angela Lansbury's second film role after she'd made her impressive debut in Gaslight a year earlier, for which she was nominated for the Best Supporting Actress Oscar. The following year, she did get a second Supporting Actress nomination, not for National Velvet, but for the picture of Dorian Gray. Anne Revere was nominated for National Velvet, meaning Lansbury was competing against her. This was also Anne Revere's second Supporting Actress nomination, but being that she was an independent actress without a studio to champion her efforts, she didn't think she had any chance of winning. The odds-on favourite, Revere said, was the Warner Brothers young starlet Anne Blythe from Mildred Pierce. But when the winner was read out, it was Anne Revere, not Anne Blythe, who won. And Revere said, next morning, the papers reported the surprising winner, Anne Revere, the talented young Warner Brothers starlet. She was 41 at the time and had been acting in films for 10 years, but the paper's mistake at calling her a young starlet from Warner Brothers, she said, only doubled her pleasure. And stay with TCM because I'll be back in a few minutes with another 1940s Oscar winner. It's an adaptation of a play by William Shakespeare, directed by, adapted by, produced by and starring Laurence Olivier.